Hello, so in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about this chord that you do hear a lot in uh, the great Disney soundtracks. Of course it'd be absolutely wrong to say it's, uh, in a way the video is a bit misleading to say it's the Disney chord of course because you'll see this prevalent in all the great classical composers of the 20th century, people like Prokofiev and, and various others. But uh, it is a lovely chord to try because it's a lovely way of uh, mon modulating somewhere else. Um, it's just a great sound to explore. So what you're going to see is you're going to see I'm going to have a basic triad. I'm going to work out the fifth note of the basic triad. So if I'm in C, C, E, G, the fifth note sharp and will be the G sharp. I'll then transfer that into the bass. And then I'll be playing the inversions of the C chord. Or you could say even simpler, a C chord over the G sharp. Now a semitone above the C chord will be the D flat major chord. So that's where I'm going to arrive. So I'm going to, and the reason it works is the G sharp, if we change the enharmonic name, is an A flat. So I've already set a dominant pull to go down to the D flat, a dominant to tonic, one of the strongest chord progressions in music. So let's rename it. So the A flat will be in the bass, although I'll probably call it the G sharp in the video, but the A flat will be in the bass and we're playing the C chord inversions and then we drop into D flat major. So we've already implied the dominant of the D flat. So without further ado, let's show you the video and then you can try and explore this sound yourself and then you'll start to hear it in things, I'm sure. Let's have a look. So here's your C chord, root inversion, first inversion, and second inversion. The first thing you probably want to do is just make sure you can do that, practice doing that. So, what's the sharp five of this chord? There's the fifth, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth note is sharpened. So what you do is put the fifth note in the bass. So you've still got your C chord. And then this chord is gonna go up a semitone, which will take you to D flat. So there we go. There's your C. Now practice the inversions 